Marshawn Olanio back out here for day 22 of the 30 day challenge on how to improve your relationship. So, um, yeah, we're back out here today. Just let me know who's in the building. Say hello so I know that you're watching. Because uh, sometimes y'all know technology messes up and it doesn't let me know that you're here. And I want to know who's here. So let me know. Say hello. All right. So today, how to improve your relationship. The topic of today is... Hey, Chantel, I see you. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Today's topic is comparing and how to stop the comparison. Who can we compare ourselves to? We can compare ourselves to family. We can compare ourselves to friends. And we can even compare ourselves to our spouse. Hey, Liz, thanks for watching. So we want to stop the comparison in all angles all angles so what is comparing comparing is really uh, what is comparison compare comparison really is the act of comparing to some thing some person some idea some concept something that you already are lacking or that you feel that you are lacking in your life in your relationship and so we want to stop the comparison altogether see I know for me whenever I start to compare myself to anything or anybody anybody's relationship I notice that it gives me gets me in a state of being sad or not feeling good enough or worthlessness and I'm just wondering like why is that occurring to me when I figure out that's what I'm doing I kind of snap out of it most of us have this issue with comparing ourselves. I mean, have you ever had the issue of comparing yourself out there to anybody, to anybody, um, anybody, period? Another couple, even your spouse, even your boo, have you found yourself comparing yourself to somebody else? I actually was working with the client the other day and she was telling me how um, one of the reasons why, yes, comparison is the thief of all joy. Yes, Chantel, yes, it is. So my client, she was basically telling me how she was comparing herself to her now ex. And this was one of the reasons why her relationship ended up tanking because she started to and continued to compare herself. So basically her man was really happy with his job and he was really happy going. He was he's self-employed and he's really happy in his life in his current state. And she noticed that she was going downhill and she it, she's in a state where she doesn't really like her job and she's just like, mm. So anytime he would speak about his career cuz really that's what it is for him. His career, she would feel some type of way. So not only can we compare ourselves to outsiders, we can also start to compare ourselves where we're at in our relationship as well against our significant others. And so you don't want to compare yourself. You really want to get rid of all of the comparison. Now, I do want to say that comparison actually can be a good thing if it revs you up to like move to your next goal or if you're doing if, if you're comparing yourself to get inspiration. That is a good way to compare yourself. But today I'm speaking about comparing yourself on the negative end where um, most of us are comparing ourselves when we're looking at other couples or other people just in general and you're looking at your life and where your life is not at. And so because your life is not a, a, at, a, a, at a stage that you feel it should be at, this is where the comparison comes in. This is where the uh, worthlessness comes in. This is where the... Um, guilt a little bit comes in because you could have been doing X, Y, and Z. You, you haven't been doing X, Y, and Z, right? So then you start to compare yourself and going down the rabbit hole, really. So comparison actually can leave us um, feeling inferior, actually, and put us in a depressive state as well. Chantel says, I was just about to ask that because my husband inspires me to be better see that's great your husband inspires you to be better but not many of us have that type of person in our lives that is inspiring us a lot of times the clients that i'm speaking with a lot of times they have a partner that is a kill joy so whatever they go to and and they're trying to share their world share their life share their knowledge with their spouse that spouse can be somewhat pessimistic, somewhat pessimistic, and it usually just takes the energy down in their relationship. It usually just like, oh my goodness, 
Like, I don't even know if I want to bring anything else to you because every time I do bring something to you, you take it toward the negative end instead of thinking of what could go right, the positive in what I'm speaking about. About So a lot of people have issues with their significant other when it comes to being the support system. However, there are others out there like you, Chantel, where your husband inspires you to be better. So there are people out there as well like that. So I am proud to hear that. So way to go, hubby. Keep it up. <laughs> okay. Um, there is really no real way to shut down the comparison thing. But if you're conscious of it and if you watch what's actually happening, then you can mitigate the negative effects that it's having and start to amplify the good, all right? And um, some of the things that we are doing, we are looking at other people. Okay, let's go with social media because a lot of people compare their relationship, they compare their partner to the people that they see or maybe they had a conversation with somebody and they're thinking about what that person, what they said that their spouse is doing and then you start thinking about the things that your spouse is not doing or you think about how you guys don't share your pictures on social media as much or how how um, it looks like they're having such a spectacular life together and yours seems quite bad boring. So those are some of the things that kind of trigger us to make us start comparing ourselves to the other person. But what you have to look at and think about is that, hey brother, I see you watching. Think about that looks can be deceiving. So a lot of, a lot of, a lot of people that are posting all of these beautiful things on their social media is not what their life really looks like once the camera is off. So after they have snapped that beautiful shot, their life is completely different on the other end of it. So looks can be deceiving. Don't let the looks fool you. Don't let the looks fool you, <laughs> okay? Another thing is that people show their love or maybe even your spouse shows their love um, in a different way. Yes, your spouse, our spouse, your boo, my boo, everybody shows their love in a different way. So just because you see what they're posting up on social media and how their life looks so glamorous to you, it doesn't mean that your life can't be just as glamorous. Your spouse and even yourself show love completely different than the person that you see on a picture, on a photo showcasing all of the places that they've gone, all the places that they travel, who they're hanging out with, they're out drinking or just having fun, etc. Don't compare your life to somebody else's because you show your love differently, your spouse shows their love differently, and again, looks can be deceiving. Another thing is that the other, the other um, person's picture that you see picture of perfection that you see is often an illusion. It's often an illusion. And a lot of us, we showcase the best parts of ourselves on social media. We're not sharing um, um, like our day-to-day -day where we get to see where the argument is coming into play, where we actually get to see where things are going downhill, where you, where you two are not really vibing as well. They're not showing those pictures. They're only showing the pictures when they're getting along and they're doing great, right? At least in that moment. Because as you and I both know, I mean, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. Sometimes <laughs> the relationship is going peach king and we getting along. And then all of a sudden, my boo could say something and then went downhill. I mean... Has it happened to you? Because it happens to me, <laughs> right? So we have a tendency to go downhill. It can split second. Things can change. I mean, let me know. Is it just me? Has that ever happened to you? Because I totally want to know if that's happened to you. When we're when we're also um, comparing ourselves to somebody else, just think about how damaging this is to your self esteem. How damaging it is to your self worth how damaging it is to you going into a, st a state of depression. All because you're comparing yourself. All because you're comparing your relationship. All because you're comparing your entire life to somebody else. 
Comparison also does not help you reach your goals in any way, shape, form, or fashion at all. Again, if you're comparing yourself to rev up and get ready to move forward to say, you know what? I need to be able to do X, Y, and Z. I, I see that he or she is doing X, Y, and Z. You know what? I can get some motivation from them. But if you're doing it because you don't feel like your stuff is good enough, your life is good enough, your partner is good enough, your relationship is good enough, you're killing yourself. You're killing your relationship. You're killing yourself. And some of the effects that you're actually going to have long term, I mentioned some of them, but I really want to point them out, which is you start to become sad and sadder. Unnecessary conflicts with your spouse, all because you ticked off, all because you haven't started to make your relationship better. You're still in a state of comparison. So because all of this is up in here, it's all up in here, and it's bothering you, it's messing with you, and then your spouse says something and you just pop off. Things go downhill real quick. Again, it keeps you sad. It makes you feel worthless. And you even start to worry about unnecessary things that you don't need to worry about. You don't need to worry about a lot of these things that we're out here worrying about. I want you to think about why you feel that you need to compare yourself to somebody, at least in the negative way. Why are you comparing yourself to somebody else? Can you not get that same thing that they have if you work at it? If you be resourceful and put yourself out there, ask, ask that particular person that you're um, comparing yourself to, reach out to them, ask them how they got X, whatever X is that you were trying to attain. In this case, maybe it is a blissful relationship. Ask him how, you know what? How did you get that blissful relationship? Your relationship always seems like it's on point. How are you getting that? And then you take the information that works for you and then you start to implement it into your own relationship, into your own life. So you don't have to compare yourself to somebody else. If you just take the information, ask the questions, Take the information and then take action on it. You can create and build your own beautiful love story. You can improve your relationship by just taking the information that you're getting from the person that you compare yourself to, that you're comparing your relationship to, and apply it to your life. Again, comparing, it really is a natural thing, thing but once you realize that's what's happening in that moment, you don't have to stay there. You can turn that negative effects and that negative energy, that negative thought process that's going on and change it into something that's positive. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. I definitely want to know what you guys are thinking about the game of comparison and how it is affecting or has affected your life and especially your love life. I will see you guys here for day 23 of the 30-day challenge on how to improve your relationship tomorrow around the same time in between 8.15 and 8.30 Pacific Standard Time. See you then. Have a great day. Deuces.